My name is Rene. I lived happily with mommy and daddy. I love toys, all kinds of them. On my birthday, mommy made a doll just for me. I hug it every night to sleep. I love the doll so much. And I love daddy and mommy so much. But something happened. Something really, really bad. The very next day, there was what they called a funeral. Oh, God. It was boobies. The only person at the funeral was an old lady. She said she was my grandma and that mommy and daddy have passed away. Grandma said that I had to move in with her and we were on a car and we were on a car to her house right after the funeral. Why did these people never read their like their writing? I only had the doll with me. I had lost everything else. It's pretty traumatic. Mommy and Daddy were gone. Grandma's house was big. I was given new clothes, lots of toys, and dolls in my own doll room. Everything I couldn't have before. And it has been six months since. Hey, look at that. Renee. Don't you worry, little angel. Hello? Soon I will find your other wing, and you will be able to fly again. Grandma. <coughs> Renee? <coughs> <laughs> It's 7 p.m. Time for bed. <laughs> Pack up your toys and hurry to your room. She's got a, uh, a little date tonight. Yes, Grandma. Every day, Grandma makes me go to bed early and locks the door shut. I don't understand. Grandma's getting naughty. So this is like our doll room, I'm assuming. <laughs> All these big toys. So we're going to we're going to go through here. I don't like clocks ticking. You will always be loved. Who's dad? Whoa. Oh, that's mom. I didn't I couldn't tell what was going on there. I thought that was grandma's day. It's that dream again. I can't sleep. Now that I think of it, I didn't hear any locking sounds. Did grandma not lock the door today? Grandma's been coughing a lot lately. Is Grandma feeling unwell? About to inherit a mansion. Renee's bedroom. I'll check if the door is really locked. Good idea. Maybe I can go back to the doll room and play. Alright. Oh, it's getting more complicated. So space is to hide, space is to interact, M for map, escape for options. I'm sorry, what? Color pencils, Renee's colored pencils. Her mother used to draw with her back at home. Renee would tell her mom what she wanted to draw, and they would draw it together. It's now one of the activities she loves to do. I started playing with dolls. Mommy used to draw with me. Okay. 
Got it. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Ew. Okay, what was the other thing? Escape. Brightness. I think it's bright enough for me. Music is fine. I think we're good. I don't understand. So she's hiding right there? Okay. So where are we now? In the hallway. Someone's bedroom. Um, purple bottle. Oh, she's on that uh, syrup. All right. So wait, does that mean I'm hiding? The scissor. I can't really tell. I think... I mean, she's going dark, and I think that means that she's hiding. Okay. So there's nothing else to interact in this game. Or this room. You know what? I like this game so far. It's different. Oh, God. What could Grandma be doing this late at night? Oh, she's, she's knocking boots, young lady. Oh god, am I in the room of mirrors? No, I'm in the hallway. I don't want to go in the hallway. I thought I was going the other direction. Yeah, that's my bedroom, that's what I thought. Okay. And then this is the room of mirrors? Oh, this is cool. What's in here? A green bottle. This music is very peaceful. Okay, so I think we look through everything. Ooh, what's this? This is the attic. Okay. Grandma sleeps in the attic. I shouldn't disturb her. So we can't even go in there. I wonder what Grandma does. So we're heading down into the other hallway. We've looked through everything. Now we're in this hallway. Okay, what's over here? Can't interact with that. What's in that other... F what is on that other... F what is that on the floor? Why can't I read? Did Grandma drop that? I don't know, let's see. Grandma's torn note. An offering for the three dolls. One drop of blue, two drop of green, two drop of purple, one drop of yellow. Then give the big shelf in the living room a knock. Some kind of like witchcraft? Wait. This is a playroom. Renee, it's not safe now. So do you... Th well, I, this looks like my room. You know, I'm not gonna go in there. What's this? I'm curious about what that noise was from the doll room. I'm curious about what that noise from the doll room was. I should check it first. I f why can I not read? So I think we do interact with this. Becky? Oh! Oh my god! Uh... 
Okay, so that is like hiding. Got it. Why was Becky so fast? Do you think she's back in this room? No. So we did evade her. This is our little angel doll. This doll was a gift from Renee's mother. Both wings had fallen off, and one of them was lost way back before her parents were alive. What is this? What? Ooh. Renee doll. A custom made doll that looks like Renee. What is. Hmm. Ooh. Ma matcha? A wooden toy resembling a lovebird with what looks like a cut on one of its cheeks made it made it unique. But the question is, was the scar given or received? Mommy used to read these to me before bedtime. Choose a book to read. Mmm... Once upon a time, there lived a sorcerer. He practiced a dark and uncommon magic, and all the people in the village avo avoided him. He was lonely and sad, and moved to live alone by a hillside. The sorcerer used his powers to create five colored spirits. The blue, the yellow, the red, the purple, and the green. They filled his dull and lonely life with color, and he was more joyful again. But there was a group of royalty in the country, they were no smarter than anyone, but held their noses high and snobbish. They feared the power of dark magic, that it would take away from their positions. And so they sent many guards to patrol the villages. Anybody caught with the use of dark magic were to be locked up immediately. Upon hearing the news, the sorcerer was shocked. But most of all, he worried for the colored spirits he had grown close with. In a panicked state, he created five colored bottles and hurried and hurriedly placed them into different bottles. The blue spirit into the red bottle. The yellow spirit. Am I, am I going to have to remember this? The blue spirit into the red bottle. The yellow spirit into the green bottle. The red spirit into the... Okay, yada, yada, yada. With a quick change of clothes, the sorcerer grabbed the five bottles with him. He abandoned his home, setting off on a new journey disguised as a wine merchant. Okay. Book of Three. Three curious girls, Lala, Lulu, and Lili, decided to leave their homes to go up a mysterious pink mountain. The path up the mountain was fun. The three good friends, side by side, chattered merrily through the twisting and turning of the road. Right before sunset, a thick fog enveloped the pathway, the trees in the forest, and they could hardly see anything. As they couldn't see let as they couldn't see Shouldn't it be could? As they could see less and less, or could as they couldn't see less and less, the three girls got more and more afraid. Let's hold hands, piped up piped up Lulu, who was right in the middle. Reaching out her left arm, Lulu pulled Lily close to her, feeling more reassured. Lulu then reached out her right arm to pull Lala, but she couldn't find Lala's hand no matter how much she felt about in the fog. Oh no. Lulu spun to look to her right, and her jaws dropped. A pale woman with long hair, black eyes, and an, ab and an abnormally wide smile staring... Oh man. Lily, on the other hand, was looking straight ahead of her at the terrifying sight of her friend Lala hanging from the trees, together with many others. Oh god. The bad three girls who decided to leave their homes to explore the Mystery Mountain got punished dearly. So, is that like a sign that we shouldn't be doing what we're doing? Is this bright enough? Is it bright enough for you guys? How did I get to the dining room?
I need to know, like, where I can hide. Alright. Let's get a f cup. Nah, so there's a story, right? I'm gonna go to the story. Oh my god. These games this can never be straightforward. Okay. Book of Colored Spirits, okay? So hold on here. We're gonna do one drop of blue. Which is in the red bottle. Okay. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. The blue spirits in the red bottle. We're gonna do one drop of the red bottle. And we'll come back. One drop of the red bottle. Okay. Where was the red bottle? <laughs> One drop. One drop. Bloop. Nice. Okay. Okay. Dude, we're mo we're moving here. We are moving quick. Ready? Watch this. On the number two. Okay. We need the next one is green. The green spirit is in the purple bottle. Two of the purple. Okay. Purple. Oh! You're joking me. Uh. One. Okay. Now we need two of the purple. I'm pretty sure I remember that correctly. Uh, where was the purple? Oh, the purple was in the other person's room. Yeah. Purple. Two. Oh, because it's the color. It's showing the correct colors. And now we need two of the purple. Two of the purple, and I gotta find out. What the correct. Is this where the books are? No. No, that's color pen. Mm. Okay, we gotta get back to the book to see. Um, where the purple bottle is hidden. Hold on. Two drops of purple. Blue. Purple spirit is in the into the blue bottle. Okay. Two blue. Which was down below in the house.
Yep. One drop of yellow. I think it's in the green, but I'm I need to I'm gonna just confirm because I'm not f***ing doing this again. We need one yellow. So where's the yellow? Oh no, dude, we're gonna die. That happened last time. You can't even read in peace. She must know that I'm on to my last drop. Where is the yellow? It is in the green, which is in the room of mirrors. Put the yellow spirit into the green. The yellow spirit into the green, yes. So one of green. And it's right by us. Yeah. Well, kind of. Well, I don't know, do I go this way? No. I heard her knees clicking, so she must be around here. Gonna play it conservative. Um, one green. That's what we needed. so bad. We can do this. We did it. Okay, now we gotta go to the kitchen. Dude, she doesn't go away. If she runs into you, you die. And we finally did it. Now we just gotta go all the way down to the kitchen. I gotta be more patient, probably. We're gonna do it. Here we go, here we go. Yes! Yes! Why is there a secret passage in the house? 
that only took 48 hours. Ew, God. Ooh, that kind of scared me, actually. Basement map. We're in the basement. An old piece of paper tinged with yellow. What am I supposed to be looking at? Kind of looks like a vibrator. Hand mirror. A pretty looking hand mirror that was broken by Renee. Her grandmother took it away thereafter. I don't like mirrors. All right, Renee. I'm assuming we go in here. I have, might have to switch that. Switch. That killed me? F dude. I don't know what incarnation is going on. Whoa! Boom. Yay! The Book of the Awakening. This game is much deeper than I thought. The possessed, often residing in objects that belong to the family, will be cursed to only walk at night, guarding the residence of its, only f of its own family. They are referred to as noctambulant spirits. If an outsider is seen in possession of anything that belongs to the family, or have invaded into the premises, it will do whatever means to remove them. A few case studies have been collected in relation to the noctambulant spirits. A huge chunk of the section are descriptions of the case studies. This book, why is it here? There's something else in the box. Ooh, a paper charm. A diamond-shaped charm. It is filled with mysterious, unreadable words scribbled in a specific pattern. Yes. This charm and the book. I've seen them before. 
The book was in Mommy's study room, and the charm was illustrated in the book, too. Your mom's a witch, or was a witch. I didn't want to remember that again. From what is written in the book, Becky is possessed by something to protect its family, and that they go after outsiders who are not part of the family. This is the, only the second part, where is the first part? Perhaps Grandma knows about it. After all, it's all hidden here in the secret basement. Maybe I can find some more answers in Grandma's room. Oh, I don't want to do that. Well, how am I going to get back home? Because I don't know how I even got... Oh, God. I don't remember how I even got into this place. Wow, okay. I'm a genius. So we're going back to... Or we're not going back to... For the first time, we're going to approach grandmother's... Attic. Oh. oh, wait, I have the little paper charm. I did not know this game would take this long. Alright, we can do it. We're like really close. Um, crap. Is it this one? Oh wow, we're like, we're like approaching it. She's right there. Oh, the attic has, like, smoke coming from it. We did it. A strong smell of ointment. It's a smell Grandma always have on her. It's a smell Grandma always have on her. I have to be quiet so as to not wake her. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Chapter 1. Creation of a- I told you it was voodoo. Creation of a voodoo doll, otherwise known as the act of voodoo, is curse one perform- No one- I just- Sometimes I'm like, man, why can't I read this? It's good it's poorly written. Is a curse one performs to disrupt the natural flow of life. A ritual sought after by many. Voodoo is off- is believed to have the power to bring one back from the dead. I don't even know why I just started laughing. Voodoo requires a body for the spirit to return to, and a human medium to act as a pathway for the dead spirit to return back to the human realm. The human medium is to also create an object of personal attachment to direct the spirit's memory to it. This is way too detailed. From a few case studies, it is also noted that the ones brought back to life are never truly the same again. The act of voodoo is considered to be sacrilegious, even in the world of dark arts. The medium acting as the pathway for the dead to pass through the realms gives up their own pathway out of the human realm after death. As a result, the medium will be trapped forever, residing in an earthly object bound to serve the family they belong to. Sounds heavy. So after bringing one back in a different form, the user gets cursed to become a noctobulent spirit after they die? Oh, 
So after bringing one back, a different one. Oh, okay. Oh, Grandma's sleeping. Hey, she has a little, like, air purifier. Grandma's diary. February 4th, 2004. Carrie is still extremely distraught from the incident. It has been a whole year, and even I cannot say I am still, not still very much affected by the loss of my very own granddaughter. Nedrick looks very stressed whenever I go over, so I am trying to give them space. I'm assuming this is our parents. Carrie has been writing once in a while to me, but this particular letter today was strange. She seemed hopeful and happy. I hope this will finally be heading in the right direction. I hope my sweet daughter will finally be back to how she was before. There has been no letter ever since. I am still writing to them, but they have not gotten back to me. Maybe after sending that letter, they went on a trip. It's all for the better. Everything happened way too fast. The news of the passing of my daughter and my son-in-law arrived just before dawn. That was not the only thing that I was informed of. I was told to fetch their child, my granddaughter, as I am the only next of kin left. How? I am still unable to come to terms with what is happening. However, I must attend the funeral, and I must find out what has been going on. I have fetched my granddaughter. It was my little Renee indeed. But at the same time, it did not seem to be her. She did not recognize me, and I can only play along until I find out everything about this. My, de my dear Kari. Kari, what on earth happened? I cannot believe my daughter is gone just like this. Oof. Last night, something very, very unusual happened. I had gifted Renee a lot of dolls, seeing how much she liked them. But when I went out for a glass of water, one of the bigger dolls was walking about. However, it did not do anything to me. Regardless, this is too strange. I have to keep Renee to her bedroom at night until I find out about everything. Maybe the mannequin is my mom? Wait, no. It'd be a spirit bound. No, that would be a... <sighs> The police arrived today. They are here to return to me the remaining properties they have taken from Carrie and Nedrick's household for investigation. One of them was an old red book with parts of it torn out. After reading it tonight, I found out that the doll was Car... Ka Kari, Kari, I don't even know how to say that. Yeah, that is her. My beloved daughter. She is still here. I have also found out why my granddaughter is alive now. Kari did something unforgivable. Oh, how much pain she must be going through to resort to this. I still have to keep Renee in her room until I find the remaining sections of the book. I will have to look through the book again. Maybe I died so my mom sacrificed herself for me? So it is true that Becky is mommy. Who's Becky? And grandma knew all along. Is that why she kept Becky around? But why does she still have me here? Even though she knows that I'm not her real granddaughter. Even though I'm an outsider. Oh, God. I'm not supposed to be out of my room this late. I need to get back to my room before Grandma wakes up. Alright. We can do that.
Something is coming. I need to hide. Grandmama! Grandma? Grandma needs to put a bra on. Renee, what are you doing under the bed? <clears throat> I, I... You <clears throat> haven't left your room, have you? N no I was here all the while. I, I was just feeling afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, my sweet little girl. I is that really true, Grandma? Of course. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. <laughs> did you really not leave your room, Renee? I, I did not. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Grandma's feeling a little under the weather. So I must, m so I must be muddle-headed. I'll be heading back to bed. You should go back to sleep, too. <laughs> Wait, Grandma? What is it, Renee? Do you think I am loved? Of course, my sweet little girl. Why are you asking such silly questions? All right. Good night, Grandma. Good night. <laughs> Mommy chased me because I am an outsider. And Grandma came here so quickly, she must have not been chased. Because they are family. And I am not. Grandma lied. Ooh, I gotta f Oops. I have to, uh, choose something. Not telling me about mommy and keeping everything in the secret basement. She must be... Well, you're also like five years old. She must be planning something. Otherwise, she wouldn't lie like that. Does grandma not want me Want me to? I just wanted a family and to be loved. That's sad. I want to be with my family. I have to do something. Mommy is doing all this because she wants to protect her family. What can I do to make her not do that? I have to get my I have to get to my playroom first. Let's go. I get jump scared. Wait, didn't she say I gotta go to my playroom? This is my playroom. What am I missing? I'm being chased because this belongs to the family. Oh! So I need to get rid of this doll. Maybe I can burn it. Yeah, let's burn this. Where do we burn it? It's gotta be down this way. Where are we at? Dining room? Fire.
There's a spear. There's still a someone in the shower. That's all. There is running up the electricity uh, utility bill. I can't talk. Uh, I didn't even see I, that I walked by one of those. Uh. Now I need to soak the charm in water. Maybe in here. The charm is sinking to the bottom. The water is turning red and it looks like blood. Now that the water is corrupted, I just need a cup to collect it. Okay. You know, I'm just a uh, big brain uh, pro gamer. I like this game. I've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. Obviously, getting lost is in the beginning, but... Was it? Oh, the far door? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I literally guessed. I had no idea what I was doing. Now to grandma's... Can we just... Alright. And all this will go away. I don't think grandma's gonna... Go quietly, but okay. Oh, I thought the music stopped. That kind of bugged me out. Where is the mannequin at? You guys ready for this? So, this is what we've been waiting for. Is she gonna burn her face with it? Put it in her diffuser? She put it in the the, the diffuser. <laughs> Smart little girl. Thud. I have succeeded. Wait, did she kill her? Now nobody can harm me. She just commit murder? I didn't know that. Nobody can stop me from what I deserve. Oh, this is kind of... Kind of, uh... Going in a direction I didn't think it would. On that day, I found out about something I should... I should never have. Mother's study room filled with notes and studies on how to get back her daughter. Daddy went out of room. <laughs> the two of them are shouting again in the living room. And then they go away, back to the room. The usual thing. Except this time, I knew why. They got strangely quiet after a while. They drink some, like, potion together? I don't usually peek because I was scared. But that time... <clears throat> I knew instantly what to do.
The book had all the information. Ones that will take everything from me. I was so scared that would happen. Wait. I had to do what had to be done. And now I have done it. I have finally gotten what I wanted. Mommy, Daddy, let's always be together. We will always be family. So the blue doll is her dad and the mannequin was her mom. Kind of got lost a little right there at the end.